Hey guys, Thai here. Welcome back to the Embermine. Today, I'll be covering the next installment of our Dinosaurs of Jurassic Park series. In the last episode, Bob covered the duct-billed dinosaurs of Jurassic Park, which featured species such as the Edmontosaurus Anecdotes, Forthosaurus Casuarius, and Parasaurolophus walkeri. For today's episode, I'll be reviewing the flying reptiles of the Jurassic Park franchise, the Pterosauria. Pterosaurs, from Greek pteron and sauros, meaning winged lizard, are an extinct clade of flying reptiles in the order of Pterosauria. They existed during most of the Mesozoic, from the late Triassic to the end of the Cretaceous. Pterosaurs are the earliest vertebrates known to evolved powered flight. Their wings are formed by a membrane of skin, muscle, and other tissues stretching from the ankles to a dramatically lengthened fourth finger. There are two clades found in Pterosauria, the basal pterosaurs, or the Ramphorin choreodia, and later pterosaurs, or the pterodactylids. The Ramphorin choreodia were smaller animals with fully toothed jaws and typically long tails. Their wide wing membranes probably included and connected the hind legs. On the ground, they would have had an awkward sprawling posture, but the anatomy of their joints and strong claws would have made them effective climbers, and some may have even lived in trees. Basal pterosaurs were insectivores or predators of small vertebrates. Our one example of this clade is Dimorphodon macronensix, which showed up in Jurassic World as one of the residents of the pterosaur terrace located inside the aviary. The Dimorphodon was a genus of medium-sized pterosaur from Europe during the early Jurassic period. It was named by paleontologist Richard Owen in 1859. Dimorphodon means two-formed tooth. It's derived from the Greek di, meaning two, morpha, meaning shape, and odon, meaning tooth, referring to the fact that it had two distinct types of teeth in its jaws, which is comparatively rare among reptiles. The diet of Dimorphodon has been questioned among researchers, with early interpretations depicting it as an insectivore or episcovore. In Jurassic World, it is portrayed as an insectivore. However, in Jurassic World Evolution, it was originally portrayed as episcovore. The other clade, pterodactyloids, evolved many sizes and shapes and lifestyles. Pterodactyloids had narrower wings and free hind limbs, highly reduced tails, and long necks with large heads. On the ground, they walked well on all four limbs with an upright posture, standing plantigrade on their feet, and folding the wing finger upward to walk on the three-fingered hand. They could take off from the ground, and fossil trackways show at least some species were able to run and wade or even swim. Their jaws had horny beaks, and some groups lacked teeth. Some groups developed elaborate head crests and even sexual dimorphism. Our first pterodactyloid comes from the sixth entry in the franchise. Quetzalcoatlus northropi is one of the pterosaurs that lived in Biosyn Valley, located in the Italian Alps. Flying high above the valley, it's one of the main reasons why Biosyn had installed the aerial deterrent system, which kept the reptiles below an altitude of 500 feet to avoid collisions with aircraft and prevent them from crossing the high mountains. Quetzalcoatlus is a genus of archosaurid pterosaur known from the late Cretaceous of North America. Its name comes from the Aztec feathered serpent god Quetzalcoatl. The type species is Quetzalcoatlus northropi, named by Douglas Lawson in 1975. Imagine a giraffe that can fly. This thing is on a whole new level. It's 5.5 meter height, 15 meter wingspan, and estimated 250 kilograms. This reptile is no slouch. It is an awe-inspiring addition to the franchise that had been long awaited by many fans. The second pterodactyloid, the Pteranodon sternbergi, aka Geosternbergia, first appeared in The Lost World in the ending scene 
when the dinosaurs were all returned to Isla Sorna. It was meant to have an elaborate scene at the end of the movie at the worker village, but this was scrapped in favor of the San Diego Rampage. Pteranodon Sturmpergi is an extinct species from the late Cretaceous geological period of North America. Pteranodon Sturmpergi was among the largest pterosaurs with a wingspan of up to 6 meters. It has been argued that Sturmpergi should be classified in a separate genus, Geosturmpergia, but this has not been followed by most other researchers. The next entry deserves no introductions, Pteranodon Longipes is another fan favorite in the franchise. Despite Pteranodon meaning toothless wing, the first time it shows up in the franchise is in Jurassic Park 3 with teeth. This one is massive with a wingspan of 9.8 meters, 2 feet for the females, and 14 meters, 45.9 feet for the males. This variation outside of obvious sexual dimorphism has a mostly straight crest. The females of this variation are generally tan or pink in color. The dorsal side is patterned black or gray. The face has elaborate patterning with yellows, tans, and pinks and gray decorating the head and feet. While the crest is colored similarly, the eyes have dark orange scolari and round black pupils. The area around its eyes as well as its throat are red or pink. The wings are generally lighter in color than the dorsal side of its body, and often have dark modeling towards the tips. A darker colored individual presumed to be the male has been depicted in a number of sources. It is mostly gray with white or very light gray markings near the tips. The neck has whitish speckling and the crest becomes bright red towards its tip, but it lacks other significant color. The other time this one was seen was in 2015's Jurassic World. Its variance is much smaller, but larger than its fossil records. This time its wingspan is 6 meters, 19.8 feet, for the females and 10.1 meters, 33 feet, for the males. This variation also appears to have sexual dimorphism in coloration and size, as well as the female having crests closer to the fossil counterparts. To note, we don't have a clear look at the male version of the Jurassic World Pteranodon. It appeared in the background of Jurassic World Dominion as well as Dino Tracker videos. Both of the representations shown in our video are female. This variation has more subdued grayish body color in most individuals, though some have reddish, bluish, purplish, or brown shading. The undersides of the wing membranes are yellow or red orange, with some black or gray streaking, and the face and crest have tough mask-like covering, which may be light or dark red, cyan or violet. The red color appears to be most common. Some individuals have similar color down the spine, while others have white or pale yellow stripes on the wings. And this concludes this entry into our Dinosaurs of Jurassic Park series. Thank you so much for watching this video. Keep an eye out for the next entry into the series as we take a deep dive into the depths of the Jurassic franchise and are reminded of when reptiles ruled the seas with the aquatic reptiles of Jurassic Park. Hey, Ember Miners! Thanks for watching today's video. Be sure to click the subscribe button on your way out and click the bell icon to be notified of our videos when we upload them.